what's up guys, and <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to do that anymore, but um, <laughs> I've had a loss, I've been waiting for this game for so long, I'm, I'm super excited, it's um, from what I've heard about this game, just like based on um, what they were saying about it, like in the um, in the thing, I don't know, I guess the developer said things about it and they posted um, articles and things, but this like, just um, the combination of like the action elements and I guess like kind of strategy elements where you have like the the um, the war chiefs and the captains like in the first game, but then um, you also have the um, you have the ability to like order them around and like kind of manage your army while also like being a character in the game and just being this like badass like hero is like super cool. Like that's the kind of thing that I've like it's it's the kind of game I've fantasized about basically since I was like a very small child. So, um, this is gonna kind of be my first impression of the game, I've never played it before, so, um, we're gonna, we're gonna get into this together. And, um, let's begin. Uh, campaign difficulty, normal, and start. Maybe, you might be calling me a pussy for not going for, like, the super, the hardcore, shit yourself version right away, but, um, I... <laughs> I think what you'll find when I'm th throughout me playing this that I'm not exactly great at video games, just in general. I had a family Probably not going to talk too much during this, just because... A wife. This is beautiful. And a son. And I buried them along with everyone I even knew. Okay, so that's where we left off in the last what game. Has happened to me? Or, that was the beginning of the last game, I guess. I, um, I do remember wondering how exactly they were going to continue the story from the last time. Because before it was kind of like, um... Sorry, I know I said I wasn't going to interrupt the cutscene, but um... It was kind of like, after the game, it was just like, okay, go and exterminate and kill the orcs forever now, because we can't rest until the evil has been purged from Mordor, or something like that. I mean, Talion, I guess he can't, um, he can't actually die until, um, the Black Hand has been defeated. So I deceived you into making the rings. I don't, I think they did defeat the Black Hand at the end of the, I don't, I don't really remember what happened with that, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, it was kind of weird. The, the ending of the last game could have used some work, I'm gonna be honest. I should have died with my family. I thought you wanted revenge. But there is only one way to close the circle. To defeat Sala. The time has come for a new ring. Whoa. Oh, right, I heard about that. Um... I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I feel like for some of the oh, what the? Is ending. Who is this? I have seen it. Huh. I have felt it. See, I feel like for um a lot of the hardcore Lord of the Rings fans, like the idea of creating a new ring is um. Like, it might be considered heresy almost, because it's, like, tampering with the lore, but, like, personally, I don't know, I think that's a cool concept, at least, like, for, like, a, I don't know, I must consider this, like, really high-budget fan art, almost, or not fan art, but, like, fan fiction in video game form. Power can blind those who seek it, and even the strongest bonds can be broken. The future I have seen cannot come to pass. Kill it, Brimbo. Huh. Death calls to you again, Ranger. How do you answer? Talion, this is beautiful. Where did you find it? I still have a few friends left in Gondor. What's wrong, my love? Past. Yeah, I remember also before this, um, before I started recording this, I, I was a little bit worried just because, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm just stupid or if the, um, if the PlayStation recordings, well, something's happening. So I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to find like slow moments to start talking, and then I, it like starts doing 
seemingly important things again. But, um... Huh. Is the ring killing him? What was... Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm just incompetent in general. I mean, I've always had a little bit of difficulty with, like, recording and editing softwares and stuff like that. But, um... It does seem like it's a little bit unclear just how the operation is supposed to actually work. So, um... I'm really hoping that this video doesn't just, like, cut out while I'm trying to record, because that's gonna really suck and I'm gonna have to, like, redo a lot of stuff. But, um... Ho hopefully everything is consistent with my current understanding of it and, um, I'm able to like, produce this without, um, incident. Change. It looks like the game's starting now. Am I gonna get to do something? Talion! Talion! I will find you. Okay, cool. So, um. Theoretically, if the controls are consistent with, um. Theoretically, if they're, um. If they're consistent with what we had in the last game. So I find it harder to focus on what I'm saying when I'm actually doing things. That's, um, that might be indicative of me not, like, um... Perhaps it's an indication I shouldn't be doing Let's Plays, but I feel like the more I do them all, um, I'll get more accustomed to it. But, um... That way, like, theoretically, if, it, if it's the same, then um, there won't be too much of a learning curve with this one. Um... I remember the one thing I was hoping for, which, um, in this instance will make things kind of a pain in the ass, but, um, I really hope they drastically improve the, um, some, someone, like, whispering in my ear, but, um, I'm wearing headphones, by the way, hopefully that doesn't, Im hopefully I'm not, like, yelling at you, but, um, um, I'm hoping they drastically improve, like, the AI of the orcs, just because, and I remember in the last game, they, there was some stupid shit that they ended up doing, like, like, remember, I don't, for those of you that have actually ended up playing, um, sh Shadow of War, which, um, I mean, I'm guessing if you're interested in this Let's Play, then you probably have, or maybe not. Um, but, um, I, I just completely lost my train of thought. I'm, this, I'm incapable of doing two, uh, two things at once. Um, oh, remember, they, um, when you had the orc versus orc combat, like, they ended up literally, there would be times when they would just stand in front of each other and stare at each other, or, like, they'd have, like, opposing contests for several, um, for, like, five minutes before they would actually kill each other, and then it would always be, like, ha half the time you'd end up, like, with a, um, I just phased through the floor there, that was interesting. Apparently, Italian does not care about solid matter and the repulsion of, um, atoms with one another. Um... But yeah, a lot of times you'd end up with, um, the weaker orc would just, like, I don't know why, I'm just murdering everyone, so I'm, I, I'm, I do not care about the objective. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of the point of this game in general, just to murder orcs, I mean, why, why not, right? That was, I, I do find it kind of amusing how um, there's no, there's no fall damage in this game, so you just jump from, like, crazy heights. I have gotten into a gigantic fight. Alright, can I not finish my sentiment? I, I'm <laughs> truly sorry. The, um, what I, I'm just, what I'm referring to is how, um, a lot of times weaker orcs would get combat and, um, would get execution animations and they'd just insta-kill orcs that were vastly stronger than them and it, did, it didn't make any sense at all. It was fucking ridiculous. Not to mention it was, it was really frustrating because you'd, you'd spend time training up your guys and you'd really like them and then they just get taken out by scrubs. It's like, why did I even do that? But, um, I, my understanding is they completely revamped the entire, like, orc-to-orc -orc combat system, so, um, it'll, like, theoretically it'll be a lot better now. I just realized I said the word theoretically a lot, which, um, is odd, too, because, like, the reality is, um, when you, 
like the um, most people's understanding of what the th word theory actually means is kind of warped. Like I understand there's kind of like there's a difference between what things technically mean and what they actually mean. Like for example, in, in science or I guess in chemistry, but um, perhaps in science in general, the um, what is? Oh, whatever. Suppose um, precision is actually the consistency of your um, of your instruments. So like if you get if you get the same measurement when you measure multiple times, then you, you have a precise measurement, and then um. Ac um, accuracy is like how close the um, the measurement is to what it actually is. But um, typically, when we just when we say those two words, we tend to use them inter interchangeably. What the hell? Oh, that thing is horrifying. Am I gonna have to fight that? Okay, probably. It seems like kind of a like I, called I don't know. Here for a reason. I called you okay, maybe this is just an NPC. It seems like kind of a just like deadly otherworldly thing from do fighting as like the first boss or something. Mm, you are brave. Oh. <laughs> But it is not your sword that will save him. How much I, uh, are you to sacrifice? To suffer. Is that a challenge? I have given up everything. Not everything. Not yet. Who even is this person? I don't know. Am I going to get an explanation of that? You want the ring? You would give you me the, give ring the ring for the ring. And find myself beside him in your web. I am Shelov. And I oh. am only in truth. I guess that kind of makes sense, but I thought... I wouldn't give I it up either. I don't know if I realized that Shelob was like a demon. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe my perception is a little bit worse by like the movie, but... I thought Shelob was just like a giant spider monster and that was about it. Am I gonna have to like do reclamation of the ring or something like that? Because that's gonna kind of suck. Take your prize. God damn Italian. Yeah, Italian. Without the power of the ring, you can't stay alive. Why did you? Did you really think this through? It must mean something to you. Go to your puppet before he dies. Wait, but now that I think about it, if um, if the power of the ring was keeping Talion alive, then why did he even need ta Why does he even need Kel Grimbor? Like, maybe I, maybe I'm thinking about this too hard. Pour my life force into that ring. Maybe, like, the ring's power can't exist without Calibrimbor's power. I guess that would, um... Oh, am I gonna kill her? She's, like, sort of hot, though. I'm, I don't know. I kind of don't... Which is a weird thing to say about Shellob, but... The, I feel like this Shellob is different than the one that we're kind of familiar with. Just come kind of to think of it, a lot of times they make things more sexual in fanfiction anyway. This, see, this is video game fanfiction. What? Dark Lord's army. Not video game fanfiction as in fanfiction based off of video, but you know what I mean. all of Middle Earth is dominated. The Palantir must be protected. I must know if she loves vision holds true. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be I have less of an idea of what's going on than I thought I might have, which is a little bit odd because I played the entire first game. I mean I get well, 
I guess that kind of threw me into the middle of things here. There's probably um, there's probably sections of the story they haven't revealed to me yet. Or really, that's the it's the very obvious logical assumption to make. I don't know why I even had. To... <laughs> I feel like a lot of times when I'm trying to do this sort of thing, like I end up just saying random like nonsense that doesn't actually mean anything because I'm just like trying to spit. I'm trying to fill space with my voice. But uh. <laughs> My um my brain has a little bit of a limited capacity in that like there just there comes a point where there's not really anything left to be said. But then again, I almost feel like I'm kind of like a s I'm just kind of like a global or like an internet scale at least, like that kind of holds true by and large. Just because um like it almost feels like there's nothing new to say about anything just because everything's already been said and so we just kind of we keep doing it because the process itself of coming up with things that at least Concepts that are that are new to us, it feels satisfying to kind of bring them to fruition. I feel like that it's just like a giant stone dildo stretching into the sky. I've just suddenly made this situation a lot less serious. The plant here is our concern. We must seize it before it falls into Sauron's hands. With it, his armies will be unstoppable. The fate of the city matters not. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. I don't know, you might. We need to do something. Taking up a captain should buy the Gondorians some time. And they could lead us to the Palantir. We must find a worm and make him talk. You know what would be funny is if Talion was actually just like a paranoid schizophrenic and then uh, <laughs> Calabrimor is just like one of his delusions. So then he like, he goes into battle thinking that he has like the powers of a wraith and then he just gets slaughtered. <laughs> I want to see an animation of that actually, that'd be funny. I do love how like even after they notice you, you can still do the, um, the stealth execution, like that's... It's both convenient and kind of amusing, because, like, you get to just, like, just fuck them after they not, not fuck them in that sense, but... Oh, they added some new animations, too. It's, I like it. It's still... It's in keeping with the style of the original, but, um... Adds, adds something fresh to it. I guess that would ideally be... I feel like it's... Ideally, that would be what a sequel does anyway, but I feel like because we've had so many, like, just shitty sequels, and, like, again, because so many things have been done, like, a lot of the shitty possibilities have been done also, then, like... It's sort of almost an accomplishment when, like, just things do things that are standard and proper. But, uh, I mean... I guess when there just- when there exists so many ways to fuck things up, it really is just, um... It's kind of something that's appreciable when, um... It, it actually- it ends up being... Um... Things end up being decent. Okay, I, I guess I just wanted to hang there for a second. Just start doing pull-ups. Hold, circle to interrogate a worm. Do I do I have the branding ability already? That would kind of make sense, actually. I feel like a lot of this game is going to be me forgetting what my um what my objectives are and just like slaughtering things. It would be sad if I actually, I killed too many things and then I ended up not being able to complete objective because of the, and I feel like that that's the kind of thing that could happen. Like if I killed all the worms in that section that I wouldn't have been able to complete it, which um, why couldn't I dismiss it? I want to build my army, but um, I don't actually know if I could have done that. They might've just spawned more if I, um, if I had killed all of them, but um, what's over, I, I don't find the orc commander's trail, okay. I'm used to having my, um, like, my Wraith dash ability, and I don't have it right now. Uh... Oh, hey, some, some guys. Uh, how are you creatures doing? Hello. Oh, hey, hey, it's, uh, it's one of the people that talk to me. Are these just regular guys, or are they captains? Because usually the regular guys didn't talk in the last one, or when I say usually, I mean always. Hold down L2, okay, let's wait. Okay, these are standard guys. I guess the standard guys are more of a personality now. Uh, uh, 
Okay, I just stabbed him with an invisible dagger, apparently. It doesn't look good for the Gondorians. We have to help. The Palantir is a powerful artifact. If we were to possess it, we could turn the tide. What is a Palantir? Is that like a siege engine of some kind? If I could defeat him alone, I would. Too far from mission? What? What? I don't. I thought I was just following the objective. I just like thick. I seriously, I have. <laughs> I have no clue what just happened to make me feel that. Find the orc commander's trail. Okay, my own. Uh, maybe I just like walked the wrong way. Okay, um, I kind of thought that objective marker would have leaving mission it. Okay. Oh, I get it. I, I gotta use the Wraith world, don't I? Okay, that, that makes more sense. It's funny, I, I said I played the first game, and then I, um, I forget basic, um, I forget basic mechanics from the first game. There we go. Well, I was going the right direction anyway. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this? Oh, and I only have five L shot. That's, um, I guess it's not so bad. I, I was fully upgraded in the last game, so I had like 14. That's, um, it's a bit of a downgrade. I literally just said I was fully upgraded in the last game, so this is a bit of a downgrade. When speaking about the fact that I no longer have an upgrade. It, it, I basically, I gave you guys a definition by proxy. Oh, cool, you um, you automatically pick up ammo while, um, when you run past it. That's, I mean, I guess why not? <laughs> what else would you do? Yeah. He's close. The Wraith world will reveal his presence. Ah, there we go. Go, go. Hmm, alright then. I'm debating whether I should, um, whether I should approach this carefully or whether I should just, like, <laughs> run in guns blazing and, you know, or I guess in this case, arrows loosing, and, um... I actually, I'm kind of, I'm not sure if I should actually go and engage this guy yet, just because, um... Like, um, I'm at like 23 minutes of recording and I was trying to shoot for 25, so, like, if I get into a giant fight. Maybe, um, maybe I could plan on doing a few more episodes of this just because, um, you know, I haven't really accomplished much in this one. Just, um, I had planned on making a one-off and just kind of getting my initial impressions of the game. Um, but, like, like I was saying, the cutscenes aid into the content to, um, or just, like, the game progress to an extent. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna cut this off, and, um, maybe I'll do, I'll do another, um, I'll do another 25-minute episode just about, um, tomorrow, so then you guys will have that to look forward to. So, um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like if you did, and, um, subscribe, because, you know, I would like some more internet fame. And, um, yeah. <sighs>